Now, your weather alert forecast. Hi everyone, I'm 3 News Now, meteorologist Mark Stitz. It's been a foggy start to the weekend and that fog continues throughout much of the day on Sunday. So a dense fog advisory does continue through at least noon on Sunday. If you do have to travel out there, make sure you take it extra slow and make sure you have those headlights on even during the daytime hours. Again, some of this fog could even carry over into Sunday afternoon. Future cast shows us climbing into the mid and upper 40s just at lunchtime and then in the afternoon even warmer low 50s for a lot of us, especially along and south of Interstate 80. North of there could see the upper 40s for our afternoon highs, but either way above average for this time of year. Again, mostly cloudy even if your fog does clear Sunday afternoon. As we go into late Sunday night, early Monday morning, a few more pockets that drizzle and light rainfall start to pop up as our next cold front pushes through. The problem with that is if any of those roadways do stay wet heading into early Monday morning, they could freeze up causing a few slick spots because much colder air starts to push in. Monday morning will be down into the low 20s in the afternoon, not looking a whole lot better. But Sunday, we're still very warm out there. 51 for the afternoon high. We just have to deal with that fog and the drizzle much like we did on Saturday. Early Monday morning, again, watch for a few slick spots if the roadways don't dry off in time for that very cold weather. Low 20s to start the day, only mid 20s in the afternoon. And of course, it's going to feel much colder thanks to some strong winds. At least in the second half of the day, we will see a lot more of that guy, the sunshine. Tuesday, we stayed in the mid 20s, so pretty cold out there. Winds not as strong, but still breezy. Most of us then continue to stay dry on on Wednesday with mostly cloudy skies and temperatures climbing into the upper 20s. Even colder air moves in on Thursday. That could kick off a number of snow showers across the area. Too soon to talk accumulations, but it is looking like a possibility. Friday, the sunshine returns, but look at that single digits to finish the work week in the mornings and teens and 20 at best heading into our next weekend.